Hey, it's you bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to give you all an overview of the image view node in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, people, image view. Image view is a node used for painting images loaded with images. The way that I think of them is that an image is like a photograph, and an image view is a picture frame for that photograph. It holds an image, a photograph. For this demonstration, I have two images that I would like to use with my image view. I have two pictures named Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. So what I'm going to do is copy these images from my computer and place them within my application package, the same package that contains my main Java file, my FXML file, and my controller. If you're working with a lot of images, I actually recommend placing your images within a separate folder or a separate package just to keep things organized. So let's open up Scene Builder. So right click on your FXML file and go to Open with Scene Builder. Within Scene Builder, I'm going to use an anchor pane and I'll add a button. What I'm planning is that when I click on this button, we'll switch from picture one to picture two. Now I need an image view node that is located underneath controls. So that is right here. Let me drag and drop it, and you can resize it. Okay, let me give this image view a unique ID. So I will go to code, and let's say that this is my image view. I'll name this button to my button. Okay, now with our image view, we can set a default picture. Click on your image view, then go to properties, image, and I will set the initial image, the default image to Shrek 1. And then when I click on this button, when the program is running, I would like to switch to Shrek 2 to be displayed within my image view. So click on your picture, open, let's save this, then open up our controller. Navigate to your FXML file tab because sometimes this doesn't like to update. Within our controller class, we need to inject our FXML document by adding the annotation at FXML. Let's declare our image view. Image view, my image view, as well as our button. Button, my button. And we'll need to create an image for image to image, my image equals new image. And within the constructor, we have a few things to write in here get class dot get resource as stream and the name of your file your image shrek 2.jpg now we need to create a method that we will link to our button to change our image around within our image view so let's say public void display image and we will take my image view dot set image to my image. And now we need to link this method with our button using scene builder. Within scene builder underneath controller, add your controller and click on your button, go to the code tab, the code drop down menu, and on action, display image and save. Navigate to your FXML document so that it updates, and then we can run this program. So we have Shrek 1, and when I click on this button, we'll switch to Shrek 2. We do have some extra time, so let me show you all a few useful properties and settings that are available to you with image views. So click on your image view and go to properties. You can preserve the original ratio. You can change the opacity. On cursor, you can change the cursor that appears when you hover over your image. So I set that to hand. You can add a special effect like sepia. Let me reset that. Or motion blur. And there's a few others here as well. Underneath the layout dropdown menu, we can change the position of our image view. For example, I can change layout X to be zero and then my image view would be left justified. Layout Y would move my image up or down on the Y axis. 
If I set layout Y to zero, then my image will appear at the top. And let me reset this to what it was originally. We can also rotate our image by moving this thingamabobber around. Let me restore that. You can change the scaling. So let's say scale X is two instead of one. Now our image is super wide and thick. Scale Y will make it taller and leaner. And underneath the code dropdown menu, there's a multitude of different actions that we can take and link to methods within our program based on how we interact with our image view. I'm not going to show you all these because there's a lot here, but one that is basic would be on mouse entered. So if we were to hover our cursor over our image view, then we can perform some action. Let's say we would like to change our image view from image one to image two, Shrek one to Shrek two. So I'm going to link my display image method that we created within our controller and let's test it. Let's head back to our controller and run the program. And just as a reminder, open your FXML file just so that it updates and let's run this bad boy. Now, if I take my cursor and hover over my image, it should change from Shrek one to Shrek two, which it did. Well, everybody, that's a basic overview of the image view node. I like to think of the image view node as a picture frame and we load our picture frame with different images, different photographs. So if you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that's a basic overview of the image view node in JavaFX.